Nadia with a really strong early start here. So Squire can apply some pressure. I think uh, the projectiles out of Dark Samus can be really strong. Um, it's hard enough to avoid them when you're controlling one character. It's even harder when you have to control two, but through the first talk, Nadia's been doing it really well. So we'll see if he can keep that up. Buffer Dare Dodge from Scry will make it back. He's supposed to re-grab, and Nadia reads the buffered roll. Um, it's an option a lot of players go for actually out of a uh, out of re-grab situation is they buffer the roll. Um, I don't know why. It's just, I, even I go for it a lot. I'm, I'm really guilty of this too. But uh, keep that in mind of, as both the Legend Trapper and the Legend Trapper, you don't buffer roll and read buffered roll. Um, it'll work a lot on re-grab situations. But, uh, yeah, Nadia looking real good through this first level, but Squire does have them separated. Keeps them separated. Um, he's taking a little bit of poke, just, uh, just trying to keep them separated. That neutral air kills back up. Takes down to the solo chief. Ooh, jab into pivot grab on the, on the roll in read. Really smart. Ooh, drag down upper doesn't determine the grab there. Nadia TI's out. He is behind, I should say. A little tethered to ledge. Charge shot's almost fully charged, so uh, that could be a potential kill option. Back air neutral air. Up tilt also an option on the platform. Actually, uh, Dark Souls is up tilt really good for platform charging. Broke back up climber shield. Um, yeah. Ooh. That was really, really clean. Uh, got back a climber to trump while Nadia Shark would be up here. Guaranteed punish. Um, hmm. Ooh, back up, no, back up, no. Oh, back up didn't get in the, in the side beat and uh, ended up just falling to their death. Okay, but Nadia does clean it up with the Sopo, or the Solo Chief. And, uh, that charge shot is gonna... We'll take it. Um, and by take it, of course I meant... But, uh, Nadia's even, okay, let's pivot, grab an option, but Nadia's, uh, solo climber, uh, is really proficient, and there's the squire. Squire does take that game one. Of, uh, unfortunate SD. Nadia. So we're in the game two, back on battlefield. Um, Squire did win game one, but looks very, very doable for Nadia. Unfortunately, just yet, man, so I understand the run back. And, 
Okay, yeah, Nadia was really stuck, dude. It'll be tough for Square to come back. Um, wait, he's gotta find something. Ooh, scary situation. Almost another suck there. Ooh, backup, where are you going? But, uh, that's not great. Um, tech face situation. I'll also try to tech face inside you, but get a pack, we'll beat it out. See if Nadia can make us a uh, solo climb work a little bit. Work a little bit of magic. That's just the ledge, he's living. There's a good pressure being put out by Squire here. Um, yeah, whenever you got the, uh, the solo climber, you always just kind of want to... Or try not to give it anything. Because um, obviously without backup, it's, uh, it's a little bit less scary. Ooh. And he doesn't quite get to get on the stage there and ends up falling to his death. But, uh, that's okay. This means backup gets to come back now. And, uh, yeah. Hitting backup only means that, uh, front climber is free to just kinda get a rip on ya. Yeah, it's kinda just. Oh! Oh my goodness. That was a lot of. Well, a lot of things happened in Spark out of nowhere. <laughs> Yeah. has kind of been opting to deal with these projectiles by just jumping over them, um, which I think is a good option. Uh, it keeps the climbers relatively synced up, um, and you don't have to worry about, like, uh, any sort of, any sort of, um, you know, shenanigans happening with shield and weird stuff, um, shield stun and all that sort of, sort of deal. Um, like there when he shielded it, uh, front climber, solo climber, or chief got out way before, uh, backup, and, uh, yeah, kinda was able to get out of there sooner and end up over decent, but sometimes that works really well, but, uh, not always. Yeah, Icy's up, he goes really far. Um, the chief climber goes even further than, uh, back up so uh yeah oftentimes even if they're super super deep chief will live but back up might die for it so uh, but close enough they were both able to quite close it up soon though but uh yeah early uh lead into this last stock for Nadia almost erased now um not as much percent on the backup climber Squire doing a lot better job than some of the other players of, of targeting that uh, backup climber, but this stock here he's been going pretty hard on the front climber. Good target switching, knowing when he can get the hits in on the front climber, and knowing when he should uh, settle for trying to kill backup. But uh, that missile on shield, Nadia down smashes it, and uh, he's out of there. Ice climber. Going into game three here.
And it is going to take the first star. Does pose that out, but 117%. I think the Smashville pick's good for Nadia because it keeps Squire close. Um, uh, the Battlefield pick had a little bit more space to work with uh, with the platforms. And he about a full stock up, but missing the backup player, so bad situation. Any in really good position to uh, close this game out. So I could take it too, but uh, I think any sort of Attempt on the backup climber is a little bit risky. Backup climber does kind of die though. Um, are they able to get to ledge? There. It's got a lot more doable for Squire with a uh, kill on the backup climber. But uh, that back there will clean up and now you close this out to go up 2 1. So back to Smashville. Again, I feel like this is a better pick for Nadia because he gets to have Square a lot closer to him. 
Um, and if Squire is really set on, on playing that more defensive style, which I think is where Dark Samus really thrives, he needs to not be that close. Squire does close out the first lock there, not up here. But, uh, really high percent. Should be dead pretty soon here. I'd be pretty surprised if he gets much extra credit on this dog, but. Well, get up tax to start, and an up air. But, uh, that up air, and Natty are gonna counter back. Close it out. Forward smash is inside beat. They're looking a lot better this game. Natty in real good position to take a second right here. Up 2-1, two, two subs to one, on your side. Both climbers on the board. Well, they were on the board, now they're gone. Um, And that's it. Natty will take it 2 1. Ice climber. Or 3 1. Um, so, yeah, that's it for Pile of Bones.